What's going on everybody? Welcome to my little coffee corner inside Fishkill. You haven't seen this part of the clinic yet, but this is my little uh, secret hideaway where I go for my afternoon shot of espresso uh, or a cup of coffee, whatever I need. So, um, but for now we're gonna be talking about other fluids from this area in the station. This is kind of like my hydration station. And we're gonna piggyback on the conversation we started last summer regarding proper hydration and proper electrolyte replenishment uh, for exercise. So preparing for exercise and then during exercise. And this is gonna be important, not just for our runners, but all the rest of our athletes as well. Close to summer, it's getting hot out, it's getting humid. Uh, I actually played around with some of the, the sweat variations of my, some of my soccer uh, players that I coach and um, some pretty, really, pretty cool uh, results and, and data that we got from there. So, um, you know, to talk about that a little further and to take last year's information a bit further, we got this little biosensor. It's actually a biosensor from a company called Nix and uh, NIX. And it's basically a sensor that you put on your body, you wear it on your arm and you wear it during training sessions. And it actually measures the amount of volume sweat lost, um, how many milligrams of electrolytes you lost and things like that and gives you basic data on how to replenish. And so you can get really personalized information on how much you sweat. So um, this is really good. I'm gonna do some uh, follow-up posts on pros and cons of this, uh, this sensor, but um, I'm playing around with this sensor now to really elevate the information that we gave you last summer after we chatted with our friend, Dr. Alex Harrison, about um, you know, taking electrolytes and fluids a step farther. So we know that we need to take in a lot more fluids um, you know, than most people are already taking in, um, especially when people think of hydrating as, oh, I'm just going to use some Gatorade or I'm just gonna use regular water. I'm just gonna sip a little bit. You know, I don't really get that thirsty, so I'm not gonna concern myself with using too much. When in reality, you are really shooting yourself in the foot by doing that. We need far more fluids and far more electrolytes than we actually think because we're losing a lot more than we actually think during exercise. I mean, just to show you a screenshot of uh, my own running, uh, I, it was almost a two hour run uh, from last weekend and this is what the output gave me. So this is how much fluid I lost um, in ounces, right? So remember 16 ounces is a pound. So people talk about weighing themselves before and after exercise to see how much they lost how much your body used, right? So uh, this showed that I lost X amount of ounces in that two hour run, which is pretty significant. So, and I had my own, uh, my hiccup, my own human error in that. And uh, I only had half the bottles with me that I could actually use because I let one of them go bad. But, uh, and then you look at the actual sweat composition. So how many milligrams of electrolytes I've lost? And it shows me how much I'm losing per ounce, but then it also shows me how much I've lost in general for that entire run. So if you look at that, I mean, we're approaching the thousands number, right? And last summer we talked about how basic requirements for hydrating um, during exercise was most people are gonna be around 800 to 1000 milligrams of sodium intake per hour. And if you can look at mine, I mean, I need to be above that per hour. So, uh, cause this was for truly, uh, truth be told, this was an hour and 45 minute run, even though I was wearing the sensor for a little longer. But uh, I mean, I need to be increasing that by at least 25% just to maintain for myself. And we're not even to the hot, humid uh, parts of the, uh, the summer yet in the season. And this was a pretty late shady run. So um, I know for myself, I'm gonna continue to use this and it will tell me exactly how much I need. And truth be told, at the end of my races, I'm still feeling dehydrated. I'm still feeling behind the eight ball, even though I've made some drastic changes to my, uh, my nutrition intake over the past year. So um, I really like this information. And if anything, it really just hits a message home that we want you guys to intake more fluids than you think you need. We want you taking the insufficient sodium during your training sessions. I mean, you really need to be drinking at least a liter of fluids per hour, 750 milligram, oh, sorry, 750 milliliters to a liter of fluids per hour of exercise. And you really need to be maximizing your sodium and electrolyte intake during that, um, that training time as well. So again, for me, I know that's well above a thousand milligrams uh, per liter or per hour, because that's how much I'm taking in per hour. And for one of my soccer players that I used uh, at one of our training sessions, um, these are his numbers. And the same thing, it showed that he was way off the charts. Um, and he's a heavy sweater. So I'm gonna be trying with some of my other players because I wanna give them some personalized data. But you can see for this guy, I mean, he lost a lot of fluids in that two hour training session and he lost a lot of sodium. So if you think about what you need to replenish, just sipping on some water here and there is really not gonna get it done. And the problem is dehydration, you won't know it until it's too late. You, you'll feel lightheaded, you'll feel lethargic, your muscles, you're gonna get cramps, you're behind the eight ball already. So this is something where you wanna be taking in your water and your fluids and your sodium levels in regular intervals during your exercise from the minute it starts to the minute it ends. That's how you can play it safe and make sure that you're doing everything in your power to control those human errors, right? And you don't wanna do what I did and 
lose one of your liters for a two hour run um, because you let it go bad in the fridge for a week. So, um, and there are no shortage of products out there. Obviously we love, um, you know, one of our new favorites is Element. Um, I love the flavor, it easy packages. It comes in a thousand milligrams and it's really not too salty. Um, so Element is great with the flavors. Now, obviously you can, you can go the really uh, efficient way. You can get a bag of sodium citrate on Amazon, um, you know, for fairly cheap and that'll last you a while. And um, it ranges, the, the different companies will have different amounts of sodium, uh, milligrams of sodium per tablespoon. So um, again, no shortage of those. Liquid IV is another one, but you're definitely gonna want more than your standard Gatorade. And you're definitely gonna want more than just um, regular water for your training sessions, especially as it gets um, nice, hot and humid out. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just one of those important things that we cannot hit this message home enough. A lot of the athletes were coaching, um, a lot of the runners and the groups locally to us, we're still talking about this, we're harping on this because this is a conversation that will continue for a long time and will stay true and relevant, um, you know, no matter what. So uh, we're gonna be playing around with this for the rest of the year as we get into the hotter weather and then into the colder weather too. Um, it'll be fun to see comparisons, how much I'm sweating, you know, on a humid day versus a non-humid day uh, in the shade versus a, a sunny run or, you know, in the, in the fall, in those colder, um, you know, colder runs as opposed to the middle of our summer here, July and August. So. Uh, again, a lot of cool information coming out with this new sensor, and I'll do a much uh, bigger, more in-depth blog post on this, but this NYX biosensor is pretty cool, um, and I'm looking forward to getting uh, some more information out there for you. But if anything, again, it just hits that message home that you really need to be replenishing your fluids and your electrolytes throughout your runs to put yourself in the best possible position out there. So whether it's training run or you're racing, um, even replenishing, uh, hydrating beforehand, you want to be taking in sodium as well. So. That's really it. Just following up on our post from last year, um, no shortage of products out there, guys, but really aim for that thousand milligrams of sodium per hour if you're really heavy sweater. Um, you know, definitely don't skimp on the fluids as well. Take a lot in. Um, no shortage of options out there for us. Um, even if you have those, uh, that palette for a weird flavor like mango chili lime or whatever that element has, but that's not me, so. Keep drinking, keep hydrating guys, use that salt, use your sodium, do not skimp on this. It's getting hotter out and we just wanna see you guys succeed and we wanna see you enjoying your training. So thanks for listening. I'm gonna to get to drinking. See you later.